was the day that changed everything. It was a hinge of history. It was even the official beginning of Huntington's Clash of Civilizations. Just some of the cliches written by evangelical authors about the terrible events of 11th of September 2001 as part of a great wave of Christian publishing after that date. Even as I make this video, war is once again raging in Gaza, and I'm sure there'll be another wave of Christian publishing, asking questions about Islam and Islamization and ethnic cleansing, America and global power, why do they hate us? And even at these at the beginning of the end times, who's going to be the Antichrist? So many questions swirling around Islam. And so I've written this book about evangelical Christian responses to Islam to look at them in all of their diversity. And evangelicals are very diverse. There is no one evangelical position. I look at over 300 books that have been published, many articles and chapters and blogs by more than 200 evangelical authors, and they don't agree with each other. You cannot stereotype evangelical responses to Islam any more than you can any other group. So I hope that you'll read this book, whether you're an academic or a faith leader or a practitioner of Christian Muslim relations or even just an ordinary punter. I've written it to be thorough and yet also accessible, and I try to avoid using long words. The introduction looks at what I mean by evangelical, uh, which is not quite as easy and straightforward as you might think. I look at their roots in the 16th century Protestant Reformation, which was a time when there was great fear of Islam because the Ottoman Empire was pressing on the gates of Europe. And so some of the Protestant reformers had some very critical things to say about Islam. But then later there were some very well-known Christians that went to Muslim places. I then look at the different research and writing that's been done on this topic and find that most of it's been done in the North American context, a little bit here in the UK, some in Africa. But this book is designed to be a global overview of the responses of evangelicals to Islam in the English language. I'm sure I will have missed some, for which I do apologise, and of course there's always new material being published, but this book brings us up to the end of 2022. Part one of the book looks at what we mean by a public sphere, in which people are debating and writing and trying to convince their constituency. Also look at the different ways that we might categorise evangelical responses to Islam, and what are some of the underlying causes of those responses. Part two then looks at some of the particular questions that evangelicals are asking about Islam. Who is Allah? Who is Muhammad? What is the Quran? What about Sharia? Are Muslims trying to take over society? And the hot button issues of jihad and violence and the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Part three then looks at how evangelicals talk to or at Muslims as they debate, as they evangelize and preach. Also look at the statistics of world mission and what might happen once Muslims have converted. So I do hope that you'll find this book useful. I've done a whole series of videos that you can watch each one unpacking each chapter in more detail. And I hope that you'll take a look at my website and I've got a database there of all of the different books that have been published by evangelicals on Islam since the events of 9-11. And so now I invite you to watch the first video on chapter one, which is all about the public sphere. <laughs>